Philip Osif saying there that if we go your route, Deputy Mesic, uh, we're all in for big tax increases. Philip, you have some cheek making that comment and caricaturing my policy. In the State's Assembly, I have voted against every single increase in tax on ordinary working people that has been proposed by your government when you have voted for it, despite saying nothing of the kind to the electorate when you stood for election. Yes, I believe that tax needs to go up in the island, but I don't believe it should fall on the backs of hard-working people who are already struggling to make ends meet. I'd like it to be on the very wealthiest in our society. Society, 5% of the island, the wealthiest, should contribute a bit more so that we don't have to go down your path of introducing a health tax, a waste disposal tax, all sorts of user pays charges, none of which you told the electorate you were going to do when you stood for election. And now you talk about this consultation. Philip, people listening to the radio are laughing at you when you talk about this consultation because we've been here before and the government ignores it time after time. Let's forget these consultations and do what every other democracy does, which is decide these issues at election time. And yes, that means people like you will have to stand for election with a little bit more than a piece of A5 with vacuous platitudes on it and you'll actually have to come up with policies. And when you stand forward and say that actually you'd like the population to increase drastically, which is your view, let's be frank about, this the public will reject it because that is how you've gotten away with your political career since 1999 oh, is by being dishonest okay, with the okay. public. Okay, strong allegations there. I do need to give Senator Philip Osiv the right of reply, which is I, now. I think your listeners will make up their own mind, um, and um, and those people who have supported either um, Sam or not voted for Sam or not voted for me will take their own view. I would recall um, and point you, Sam, to I, I think you should withdraw the majority of what you've just said. Um, I was the Treasury Minister who published in July before the election three papers setting out exactly what the new government would have to do in terms of balancing their books. And I'm afraid that it is an old narrative. It's old narrative of something of a bygone era from the 1970s if you simply suggest that, oh, you can tax the rich, not put any charges on people consuming services, and everything will be fine. That is the road to economic ruin. We are an island with 100% of GDP and assets. Pursuing that policy would mean that the Treasury Minister today, if we were in the UK, Alan McLean would have a £50,000 debt mountain for every single islander. If that's the island that Sam wants to create, then I will argue against it. And I would refer you, in fact, I'm going to send you an email now, Sam, and I'll put it on Twitter, the three documents that were published, as well as the um, articles that were made in January 2014, which said exactly what needed to be happen. We should be proud of the fact that in Jersey we have honest debates about the future, not fictitious ones, and we promise things, and we, we, we shouldn't be promising things that we can't deliver. OK, Tax we... The rich but, won't, I, deliver the, it, that won't deliver a better health service which is affordable and sustainable. OK, well, listen, we're, we're getting close to the end of the show, but you said that all of these emails and uh, bits of information were sent out in 2014 on what should be done. Why hasn't it been done? It's 2016... It's absolutely being done. The, the plan is working, isn't it? Um, that's why we're seeing, uh, despite um, a continuation of a tale of a recession, um, which has taken far longer than anywhere um, than anybody ever expected, uh, we're seeing a resurgence of, of, of growth. Uh, we saw the Jersey economy improve in 2015 by 5 percent. That's a kind of economic growth without population growth um, to any to any great extent in 2015 of that number. Um, um, saw 5 percent. That's the sort of thing that would be attributed to a tiger economy. Um, the revenue that is now coming in because of the successful focus on high value skilled jobs. And I think the other thing I take issue with Sam is um, Sam, it's just not correct to say that islanders are not um, uh, they have the opportunity of having great jobs uh, and, uh, and great um, positions. Um, we have always an island um, that has got a blend of locally grown talent reaching the top positions, and we see them all over the place. Head of Statistics yesterday reporting on this population. OK, I'm going to get Sam to come back and answer quickly, and then I'm going to give you all 30 seconds to sum up, because we're almost at the end of the show. Deputy Mezik. Um, Philip, you say I'm stuck in the economics of the 1970s, but you're stuck in the economics of the 1920s. You somehow believe that we can get out of a shrinking economy by increasing taxes on low- and middle earners, the people who spend their income in the local economy, 
economy and by sacking hundreds of people and making them economically inactive by putting them on the dole. That is the real road to ruin and history vindicates that point of view. You're the Treasury Minister who gave us this £145 million deficit, so why don't you have the decency to apologise to the public of Jersey that, have, that the situation that you have put us in is going to see them paying more and more tax, which you did not say to the electorate when you stood for election. Okay. It doesn't matter your bluster. You didn't have on your manifesto, vote for me and I'll introduce a health tax and a waste disposal tax. OK, I, I just need to bring this uh, very lively debate to, to a close. I'm going to give everybody, uh, I'm going to try and give you 20, 20 seconds each. Senator Philip Ozif, 20 seconds, please. Um, uh, sound public finances, employment going up, global reputation in Jersey restored, uh, government taking, making measures to make efficiencies in some areas to invest in frontline services, health and education. OK, Deputy Mezik. There's only one way to solve the population uh, problem with Jersey, and it's this. At the next election, we have to throw out politicians like Senator Ian Gorst, Senator Paul Routier and Senator Philip Ozef because they've failed the island resoundly on this. We need to elect fresh blood who will come in and represent ordinary working people, not the rich and powerful like Senator Ozef does. We have to leave it there because we're right out of time. Thank you very much to uh, my guests in the programme today.